Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, one of the things that was patched yesterday in Windows is interesting. It's a Windows Defender uh, fix that was actually installed yesterday for security. The uh, Windows Defender fix was um, giving or had the ability to be bypassed and that zero day would be used to drop dark meme malware so basically what would happen is that that zero day exploded in the wild is a financially motivated uh, group so what that means is that they're there to steal what they can of any financial information that you might have in any way so that they can actually steal money the file has to be clicked by the user so this makes it even though it's a zero day it makes it a little more difficult because a lot of zero days, what happens is that just going on the web and having the malicious code embedded within a page often triggers what's needed. In this case, they have to be a little more um, creative. So they have to do it in a way that it's going to want to ask you to click something. So it probably is more of an email thing, maybe a phishing scam or some sort, or, you know, kind of trying to tell you, well, you know, here's an attachment and here you could click on that. Well, once that is done, well, it's, you know, deployed and is uh, really, really uh, getting into your system. Apparently, what is the biggest target of this uh, zero day flaw is anything that has to do with financial market traders. So it probably is trying to get into the financial system more than anything else, more than you know the average user, because there's, of course, billions of dollars in there. And they're uh, going to try to uh, exploit this. So this is interesting. Uh, part of one of the fixes yesterday within the, uh, the operating system and, and using a bypass of Windows Defender and the Windows Smart Screen uh, basically, which uh, always checks for, you know, whatever you're downloading, malicious downloads. So, uh, and it is a remote access Trojan, as they call um, a Trojan um, compared to just a virus. A virus will stay in your system and usually just be on your system and needs to be activated in some way, but is not on its own spreading. A Trojan is actually something that gets into a system to um, invade other systems too. So that one will uh, would spread across a network, for example. So that's one fix of one of the zero days that was uh, vulnerable that, uh, of course, they uh, fixed yesterday with Patch Tuesday of February. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.